Hello and welcome to the print. This is Akanksha Mishra. Prime Minister Modi in his Independence Day speech this year mentioned and lauded India's achievement in solar energy installation which has reached more than 100 gigawatts capacity. But what's next? How is India going to achieve indigeneity in solar technology? Well, one lab in IIT Bombay has the answer. The National Center for Photovoltaic Research and Education or NCPRE is India's answer to global solar technologies. It is a lab at IIT Bombay that's developing cutting-edge technology in solar cells, especially in silicon and perovskite tandem cells. So for context, its most recent iteration of a solar cell had 30% efficiency. Right now, most of the cells in the market have about 23 to 24% efficiency. What this means is that as geopolitical tensions and renewable energy capacity become the norm of every conversation, India is working on developing its own indigenous capacity both in technology and in manufacturing. Solar cells are the building blocks of solar panels and silicon and perovskite are two of the most in demand materials for making solar cells right now. They are easily available and cheap and most importantly they conduct electricity very well. While for years solar industries have used just silicon to make their solar panels, recently countries have started using both to achieve dual efficiency. In India, this is being spearheaded by NCPRE through its startups. For example, take the case of RPV, which was a startup incubated in NCPRE around one year ago. Now it is the brainchild behind the silicon perovskite solar tandem cell, which has achieved 30% efficiency in the lab. This is comparable with global technologies in places like China. While in China a tandem cell has achieved 34% efficiency in the lab, RPV's founder says that we can get the Indian cell to 34% too very soon. Uh so RPV India is one of the startup from NCPRE which is supported by the MNRE. Uh and currently we have crossed uh, 30% power consumption efficiency to be specific 30.18. Uh, which is right now under communication and has been also conveyed to MNRE. This is the efficiency number. The moment it crosses 30% barrier, it becomes very important to uh, understand that it requires immediately R&D to commercialization kind of activity. So we have been lucky to get MNRE support to develop the commercial wafer size solutions. For that, uh, we have received the funding and we are developing the solution in our uh, research park building. Uh, however, RTP we realized that just the cell level solution would not be enough, and we would need to make a transition from R and D cell levels to the pilot line, and then only it can be uh, seen as a commercial technology. So the RTP is putting the efforts uh, with the help of state government as well to set up a pilot line. Uh, we are getting a fifty thousand square feet space in Navi Mumbai. to set up a pilot line of 20 megawatt capacity with the support we are investing from private industries as well as from the mnre while there are multiple solar energy companies in india there isn't a single fundamental research center that focuses entirely on solar technologies apart from ncpre the need for a center like this is voiced by the professors who lead the research here So it's a very important questions which basically sets the tone that without doing the basic fundamental work we cannot become the global leader. Uh, we are we will be mostly doing buying the turnkey operation from a single geography and assembling the things here. If we really want to be innovative, we want to be free from a single geography solutions. We have to develop. i uh, from the scratch equipment solutions raw material solutions as well as doing the fundamental device work and that will only give the self reliance what called atmanirbhar bharat 
It is this investment in fundamental research that has led to NCPRE being able to develop a solar cell with one of the highest efficiencies in the country, promising to change India's solar industry. This was proposed by NCPRE. Okay, uh, it was this work has been carried uh, work has been going on for the last three years or so. It has come to this level now and. Therefore, it can be commercialized, okay, primarily because of NCPRE. Because the lot of funding that was required to carry out the research in this area, uh, it was possible because MNRE sponsored this project. Okay, because if if as an individual, if I were to go to MNRE, I do not know whether it would have funded or not. So, as a center, around 20 faculty members working, lot of business support. So MNRE and and because of phase one and phase two, NCPRE was established in 2010. So we did very good work. It has become one shop stop for any PV related activity. Okay. So MNRE, the confidence that you know NCPRE will deliver. That's the reason we got funding of this kind. The NCPRE was established 15 years ago and it has dedicatedly been working in photovoltaic research since its inception. Supported by the Union Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, NCPRE is sort of an investment, a way for India to move ahead in the clean energy transition race by putting in the research and development that's required for it. So it does everything from researching on solar cell technologies, to researching on what are the standards and policies for solar panel deployment in hot and humid areas like Rajasthan and other parts of the country. So in India, uh, most of our deployment is actually happening in uh, places like Rajasthan, Gujarat and places that are known for either hot and dry or hot or humid climates, right? So these newer technologies that are currently being infused into the market is important to evaluate how they last in these harsh and used environments. And that's where the research performed by NCPRE really becomes critical because you need an entity that is globally recognized for its skill level in this particular area, an entity that is unbiased and also an entity that is willing to put the findings in the open domain. In 2025, NCPRE also became the first ever institute from India to be selected to develop a global test for a certain element of solar panels, a role that is often taken up by countries in Europe or North America. However, NCPRE, as Professor Shrikhar explained, has proven its competence time and again both in India and abroad. Earlier this year, the Union Ministry of New and Renewable Energy provided RPV with a grant of Rs 83 crore to help it set up a pilot manufacturing facility inside Mumbai so that it can translate its research from the lab to the market. This shows more than anything, according to Professor Dinesh Kabra, who is the founder of RPV, that the work that's being done in NCPRE is not just make in India, but also innovate in India. This is Akanksha Mishra reporting for The Print.